We tested Mickey for some intolerances because we think he may have some issues with some stuff. Today we're going to start a test with Mickey from our friends at Five Strands Testing. We got um, an intolerance test that tests his different foods. Over 270 items will be tested with this test. But again, it's from Five Strands. You want to stay till the end of the video because we will put up a, a discount code where you can save 10%. 10%. So we're going to open this up, see what we have to do, and get the test started on Mickey. And Amber, so why are we giving Mickey this test today? Because we've always had issues with Mickey where he would um, spit up or throw up at times. Um, not anything bad and not anything that happened all the time, but just occasionally. And so we knew that he had to have some kind of intolerances going on. Um, he's had a vet tell him that he was allergic to turkey one time um, or possibly poultry in general. Um, so we wanted to get him checked out because after he had that hairball issue uh, back at the beginning of January, uh, it seemed to be a little bit worse and he was real finicky with his, his eating. Um, if he felt like he was going to, you know, get sick then he did not want to eat. So um, that's kind of what set this all in motion because we wanted to go ahead and find out what's causing him issues with giving him a, um, you know, a nauseated uh, feeling and throwing up and spitting up so that we can help prevent that in the future and keep our little boy happy. Okay, so with our kit, we do have four steps we're gonna do. We're gonna register it, collect the hair sample, pack the sample up to mail, and then mail the sample out to processing. So we're going to get started on that right now. First thing is we're going to register. All right, so for Mickey, it says if the hair, it says 10 to 15 strands, if you can get one inch hair obviously that's not going to happen with mickey so it says to collect 20 to 25 strands of hair we're going to put them in the white parchment paper bag once we get them collected are you ready for this mickey <laughs> oh there's two mickey come here come here Thank you, Mickey. So, woohoo! We're going to find out your intolerances. Uh huh. Yes, we are. Mm -hmm. So, now we got the hair collected in the white parchment bag. We're going to put it in the silver anti static bag. I'm just going to fold the top over a little bit before we put it in there. And then it, the top of that, the silver bag is just like a Ziploc bag. And snap that close and that's got that registration number on there that matches the one on your card so the next step to get this mailed is we're going to put the silver bag back in the original box now you don't want to tear it up as bad as I did but obviously I'm not the first person that's done it because in their instruction it says it's okay if the box is torn And you're going to put the box back in the bag they provided. So you want to make sure before you send it in, either write it down on the card or take a picture of it. But that way you have the tracking number. This goes uh, regular postal service. But you want to make sure you have that tracking number 
So you take a picture of it on your phone, write it down, put it on your card. And then, so what it says on your card is they will notify us when they receive the sample and they expect results uploaded to our account within the next seven days after they receive it. And then you can go online and find the results of the test. We are excited about this to see what Extremely. Mickey, uh, what he may have tolerances to. There's a test kit. But we're pretty sure uh, Turkey, even though he's on chicken a lot, he may be allergic to chicken. I mean, the problem with um, intolerances is it can happen to anybody at any time. I mean, I didn't have issues for the longest time, and then all of a sudden it was my 35th birthday. 30th. 30th birthday. Uh, my allergies started bothering me with different things, and that was the first time ever. So it can definitely happen out of nowhere. But we're going to find out. So we're not giving Mickey anything that's going to make his tummy upset. So we're going to get, Mickey's going to get this mailed in to the post office and get it back to five strands. And then as soon as we get it, his test results in, we'll get back at you. Happy weekend. Mickey is excited about sharing his test results with you guys today. Again, this test from five strands does over 270 items. It tests for intolerances. So we're going to put a Mickey's test results up on the screen so everybody can see it. He does not mind sharing that with everybody because we have made some big changes in his diet. Uh, like we said before, uh, he had a hairball. He, had, he would spit up every now and then. And a lot of times when he'd spit up, we kind of write it off as the allergies here in Central Florida were bad. Um, he, as hard as he chews on his bones, he gets a lot of slobber and stuff, and he does spit that up sometimes. But uh, we were kind of surprised by some of the stuff that came back that uh, um, that Mickey's going to have that he has changed now. Also, to give you an idea how quick this actually went, we did the test, we sent it in regular postal service. So however long that takes, I know that can vary from place to place. Um, and then once they got it, they let us know they got it. And it was what, Amber, five days from Five there? days or less that we had the results. We had the results back. So it took no time at all. And it's, I'll say this, it's been a huge help. And I'll tell you, because it's been a month, at least I think a little bit over a month since we got the results back. And we wanted to wait in case there were major changes, which there was, to make those changes and see what has happened. And I can tell you right off the bat, Mickey's happy to say, no spitting up for me. So Amber, let's start off by going over what the test, the different things on the test mean. Okay, so when you're looking at the test results, they're color coded. So gray means that it, um, it was not a significant response. So basically you can just look at it as no intolerance there. Green is a mild intolerance, and it says that symptoms are usually not noticeable, um, and the triggers can be affecting the body, though, at a cellular level. Yellow is level two. Those are moderate, and the sim symptoms are sometimes noticeable. And level three is red, and those are severe intolerances, and the symptoms are usually noticeable. So now we're going to go over his results, and like I said, we're going to show them for you so you can take a look at them. He said he was okay with sharing them. So the first thing we want to say, because we mentioned it in the first part of this video, um, chicken is okay. Yeah. So that was not a significant uh, issue for him. The turkey was, and that was what we really thought. Um, you know, the vet said maybe poultry across the board, um, but definitely turkey, and that's what it turned out to be. It's turkey. Um, he does have intolerance to duck, but he's never had duck, so that's not a problem. So the biggest impact that we experienced with the results of this test. First, blueberries. Uh, he has an intolerance to blueberries, and that really uh, made us sad because blueberries are so good for dogs and, you know, humans alike. Uh, so we hate that he had to give those up. Now, it wasn't a total shock to us because he has spit up blueberries, you know, a few times in the past, 
But when he had his hair ball and he did not feel well back in January and he got very picky with his food, um, he would not eat his blueberries at all. He would eat, we'd put all his food in there because we'd put the blueberries either on top or to the side of it. And he would literally eat every piece of food in there, but his blueberries. And I even tried mixing the blueberries up in the food. And he would literally lick the blueberries clean and leave the blueberries there. And he's always enjoyed blueberries. I mean, he would eat those. We could give those to him as a treat. Right. And he always enjoyed them. So it was like, you know, he was telling us, hey, I don't feel well. And I know that this is going to make me feel even worse if I eat it. So he completely stayed away from blueberries. Um, so instead of blueberries point. now, while we're on that, instead of blueberries, we do give them strawberries now. Yes, strawberries are good um, according to the test, and um, he has not spit up any strawberries uh, since we made the changes. So the next thing that we had to change, um, spirulina and bee pollen are two issues for Mickey. And that made us really sad also because they have been on a supplement for a few years now that was very good for them as far as all the health benefits, but it does contain spirulina and bee pollen. And so we unfortunately had to remove that from um, his diet as well. And just so we're clear, as far as we go, we made the decision that these changes we were making when we saw the results come back and they were some of them like the blueberries and strawberries, that's a huge change. We decided we're gonna change it with Molly too that way, we don't have anything floating around because right. they lick each other's bowls when they're done. Yeah. And uh, so then another thing um, that this had a big impact with was uh, he has an intolerance to muscles. And when Mickey got sick and he became extremely picky with food, we switched them to All Provide, which does raw and gently cooked food. And Mickey absolutely loves this food. Molly does. They devour it um, every mealtime. But one of the recipes was called pup loaf, and pup loaf had mussels in it, um, in which we had actually picked that one because it did have mussels um, and then some other things in it that were very good, you know, for them. But unfortunately, we've had to stop the pup loaf because of the mussels. But they still get sardine Sunday, right? Yes. So sardines are okay um, for Mickey. So they do get sardines every Sunday. So Mickey wants to remind everybody they also do environmental testing for dogs and cats also, not just the intolerances to foods. And also for moms and dads, they have a lot of human testing also on five strands. So go to their website. We'll have a link in the description below where you can click on it and if you order through that link and use coupon code two happy bostons and this is one of the happy bostons mickey yeah two happy bostons you'll save how much amber ten percent ten percent yes so thank you guys please hit the like button and hit the subscribe button because mickey and molly Sure like sharing everything with you guys. And it's been a lot of fun doing this video. And Mickey is a lot happier. One of the biggest changes with this, I will tell you, is now when we put his food bowl down, he goes right to town on it. Yes, he does. He doesn't, he doesn't pause. He doesn't sniff at it. Nothing. He just goes right into eating. And he finishes before his sister. Yes. And that's, and that's never happened. That's never happened. I'm glad you brought that up. That's never happened until we made the changes in this diet and now he always finishes first and so in fact he tries to take molly's food yeah because she's yep. still eating so mickey says hey everybody go out and get tested and have a strawberry on us because everything's, everything's better, better together. together yeah you like that that good stuff yeah that good stuff yeah you bring it you bring it <laughs> He it. good stuff. Yeah. Baby girl, you're going to get one. 